that that the Dajjal, you know, he has curly hair, he's a little stubby, um, and he's one-eyed. And this is how you'll know that he's not Allah, because Allah is not one-eyed. Hey, hey, well, let me tell you one thing. Uh, we don't know what Allah uh, has or has not, because he didn't reveal that, right? I mean, we don't, according, nobody to, knows. according to the Hadith, it seems like he did. I mean, we got no, a no, good, pretty I mean, good depiction. Let me, let me tell you one thing. Dijal is someone who's going to claim he's a god, right? And he is showing people a lot of wealth. That's he. That's how he attracts people, right? He'll say, "I'll do this for you." Then how, just how prove. Will know, how, that will I'm a god. That, how will we know that he's not that he's not God? How will we know that? Well, we we know that by him deceiving people and telling them lies and things like how that. Will, how will we know he's lying? That's how you would know. So until Jesus comes back, we won't be able to know if he's not, if he's God or not. Truly? Uh, no, actually, he's going to come back and disprove him. Right. So that's what I'm asking. Like, do we have to wait for Jesus to come back in order for us to know that this Dajjal is not God? Let me, yes. If you're a Muslim, you, you will know he's not God. If you're not, man, how, all the how, best for you. How, if you're a Muslim, how will you know this? Because... Muhammad says that he fears that you will, as Muslims, be confused and deceived and believe that he is God. Unfortunately, there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be confused. Just because you say you're Muslim doesn't mean you're a true Muslim. And just, so is, just is, because you say you're Christian doesn't mean you're Is Muhammad, is Muhammad you're talking about real believers no, or like fake believers? And he's talking about... Well, well, you know what? There's a, there are two kinds of believers. There are no, you talking about believers the real ones for the real, and there are believers that are hypocrites. Yeah, is he talking about the hypocrite believers, or are you talking about the real believers? The real believers would know. Let me tell you, if you're real and if you're sincere, you would know who the child is. If not, good luck to you, man. I'm gonna pray for you. So let me. So why why does Muhammad then like that? That just makes it, it you know pricks my brain a little bit. Why would Muhammad be afraid that the Muslims would be deceived by the Dajjal and believe that he's God? So much so, so much concern that he gives a difference. Like he says, this is how you know, right? He said, this is how you know that he's not Allah, because your Lord is not one eyed. Why, why does he give that qualification so that they don't confuse him, confuse them? Let me tell you, uh, you take the Allah out of this because we are talking about Dajjal, right? So you keep bringing Allah with one eye. I don't know where you get that from. The Hadith. The Hadith is Hadith. not let, one let eye. Me tell you, let me tell you something about Hadith. Hadith is like a Sunnah. Sunnah is what the Prophet did. Brother, and, you're talking to a sheikh. I know Islam like the back of my hand. I know what Hadith is. Tell me, tell me uh, three things about Sunnah. It has like it's it's the it's what Muhammad did, what he practiced, what he taught. All right. Oh, no, no, it's yes. there are three things, right? So, so Muhammad. When, okay, when let me tell you one to, thing. Give me one second. I, I okay, but I hope that you get to what I'm what I'm asking. Yes, no, I, I I'm just trying to educate you. You you said you should. Let me tell you. Objection. The witness is going into narrative. Uh, 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 all right. Let me overrule. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what what the prophet did, and what the prophet said what and said. what he saw and witnessed and did not say anything about mm. that is what sunnah is okay so again my question why was he so concerned for the muslims he's not concerned he's warning people but he's no he says i fear that you will be deceived it's, it's his concern more, it's more like a warning People. But why did he fear that they will be deceived? Why, like falling. he says, he says, I fear you will go astray. Why is he, why is because he concerned he was that they will go astray and believe that the Dajjal is actually Allah? Why would they, why would he be concerned of that? Because he, he was afraid that he, they might fall into his traps and his right. deceit. And so he tells them, he tells them how to not fall into the trap. He says, look, this is how you know that he is not your Lord because your Lord is not one-eyed. Okay, let that, me ask you, this. What, what do you believe? What, what do you believe? What is your denomination? I'm an original Quran-only Christian. 
Huh? Are you like, what are you, I mean, are you Muslim? Are you Christian? What are you? I'm an original Quran only Christian. I believe in the- Oh, you, so you're a Quranist. I'm a Christian original Quranist. Wait a second, you're confusing me and the people that are watching right now. No, no, the, the people that are watching are also, a lot of them are also original Quran only Christians. We're the fastest growing religion in the Represent? world. Represent? Let me tell you, if if you're a Quranist, actually you can't you believe, believe it, like you can't believe in two things at a particular time. You believe it. Why are you in the first place, things, right? You believe in the Zabor. You believe in the Torah. You believe in the the Injil. You believe in more than one thing. So do I. I believe in all the revelations of God, including the original Quran that was revealed before it was tampered with. Who, who tampered with the Quran? Nobody tampered. Come on, man. Uthman. Nobody tampered with the Quran. Uthman had it burned. And let me tell you, a lot of people tried, man, and failed. Uthman, he tampered with it. He had it burned. Nobody, nobody tampered with. Uh, this is memorized. The Quran is memorized. It is ingrained in the brains of people. Then why do you have so many different recitations if it's all memorized? Oh no, that's just a dialect, man. So it's is it a dialect. Dialect, is it a dialect when one says that Muhammad was surprised and another one says Allah was surprised? No, oh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you, whatever you do, right or say. You cannot say the Quran has been tampered with. I'm, I'm giving sorry. you an example. Look, Uthman, no. the Hadith literally says that Uthman burned whole copies and manuscripts of the Qurans while he standardized one that he accepted and sent it out. That's tampered. That's that's corruption. And then you have examples of this where you may recite the Quran one way while another one recites it in an entirely different way. In fact, they 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 ban certain Qurans in in certain areas, so you have different Qurans out there that say different uh, things. Let me tell you. First of all, I like you. You you cool guy, right? But but we, I respect I respectfully disagree with you, and we're gonna end it like that, man, bro. Okay. Hey, okay. man. Nice talking to you, man. You you good you guy, too. man. You too, man. Uh, Thank you. All right, brother.